Hello everyone, my name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears, where we taste, try, and then rate on a tier system all kinds of whiskeys, bourbons, scotches, etc. Even though we've mostly done bourbon so far. Eventually I'll get into the other ones a little bit more. But on today's video, we are doing Stellum Bourbon, the Black Edition. Okay, if you, ha if you guys didn't see my video in the past, I have done the regular Stellum Bourbon. I had the Terra of the regular St Stellum Bourbon in a previous video, and it was just, it was kind of okay. I don't remember exactly what tier I put it on, but I remember it not being anything overly special. If you guys don't know as well, Stellum Bourbon is kind of the baby company of Barrel, which is my favorite bourbon whiskey company out there with all the amazing blends that they come out with. So this is kind of their more run of the mill, um, more friendly price range run of uh, whiskeys that they are making. But the Stellum Bourbon Black Edition is kind of the parent to the regular Stellum Bourbon that came out previously. So what they say about the Black Edition is it is distilled in Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. And Stellum Bourbon Black is a work of meticulous blending, taking our core Stellum Bourbon, which is the previous one, offering and enhancing it with additional and older, more complex barrels. So Stellum Spirits is dedicated to bringing bourbon into the modern age with elegant blends constructed with care and attention. So basically, it's the original Stellum Bourbon, and then they added in some older different blends into it of older bourbons and kind of enhanced it so they say we'll see coming up in this video so Stellum bourbon black it's got kind of a i don't think you're going to be able to see it too well but it's almost got kind of a deep space look on the label here which i kind of like and it is in the i am important uh bottle glass that they like to put imp important whiskeys in you know Pappy and all them. It's in the Pappy bottle. So they're going for that look here with the Stellum Bourbon Black. It is coming in at 109.22 proof. So that is in my wheelhouse. That's kind of where I like things. Maybe a little bit hotter even, but I'm excited to try it. Let's try it on the nose. Let's do the bottle pop right now. Okay. It's got the synthetic cork, kind of a wood topper on there. So it does give that nice bottle pop. Let's nose it out of the bottle. Okay. Getting a lot of vanilla. Vanilla and orange. Vanilla, orange, and a little bit of caramel coming out of the bottle. Smells pretty good. I like that nose so far, so let's pour it into the glass and see what we get. Oh, Stellum Bourbon Black Edition. A little bit lighter on the color, a little bit more yellowy. Okay, I get, I get the orange, I get the vanilla, but there's something else there too. Almost like some flower petals. Vanilla orange with some flower petals in there. Kind of like you're walking through a fresh, uh, what are those things called? The things with the glass roofs where they grow all the flowers. Not observatory, that is not it. I don't know what it's called. We'll go with flower warehouse because I can't think of it right now, but it's in a flower warehouse, so. Pretty good on the nose there. I don't, I generally am a little bit concerned if things smell too florally, just because sometimes that's not the flavor profile that I like. Legs look pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and try it. Cheers, everybody. Okay, right off the bat, nice sweet oak. Really, really sweet, really good right off the bat. I'm gonna have to dive into that more, but automatically, right out of the gates, I like it a lot. Okay, it's kind of like a, Mm. It turns into the secondary flavors. It it melts away into really nice vanilla y caramel. It goes into the finish of a little bit of a little bit of leatheriness, a little bit of tobaccoiness. It doesn't hang on too long uh, down the throat. It goes down pretty nice and smooth. Uh, the, but it's just left. It's still lingering in my mouth with kind of that a little bit of the caramel, a little bit of the vanilla and then some of the leatheriness, a little bit of the tobacco-iness, but there's a jolt up front that I'm trying to hone in on. I was getting confused on what um, exactly fruit I think I'm tasting, and I think I'm tasting two, and I think it, they're, I'm tasting them both in a specific way. And I'm thinking that I'm tasting both an orange and a lemon, but if you put them on a grill and kind of charred them a bit on each side and then took a bite, 
That's what I'm getting on the Flavor Blast up front. Really good. I really like that. That's very interesting. Oh, yeah. It hits right up front, almost like a lemonade. Almost like a lemonade. You got get some of that lemonade in there, then it melts away into the caramel, into the vanilla. Then it gets right on the end. It gets maybe even a little bit of floraliness in there. Not nearly as much as I was getting on the nose, but a tad in there towards the end. And then it gets into just a little bit of the leatheriness, tobacco-iness, just a little bit at the end. It's not overpowering. You know, you still got, it's still majority of sweetness on it. Kind of that lingering orange lemon char. But the, up front, I got a big hit of lemonade on that last. Yeah, like a summer lemonade. I'm really getting there. And then it's going into that caramel and vanilla. So that's really nice. It's a really cool transition. I like that a lot. Really good. All right, so with a dash of water added here now. Really subdues the nose a bit. Brings out the florally kind of uh, flower petals a bit more. Okay, it's almost the same with the dash of water. I think it takes away some of that lemonade-y uh, spike that I was getting right up front, which I really enjoyed. So I would say with the dash of water, don't like it as much. It's still good, don't like it as much as neat. Okay, so Stellum Bourbon Black coming in on the heels of my previous experience with the regular Stellum Bourbon. This is definitely an upgrade, no doubt about it. This is an upgrade, really enjoyed the nose, really enjoyed the palate. It, it hung on there, it didn't go down too strong. I do enjoy when it gives you the tickle. For 109 proof, it really drinks quite smooth. But what am I gonna put this on the tier list today? Well, I think this one's gonna be pretty easy. This is, this is a solid A. Solid A on the tier list, it's very good. Really enjoyed it, so if you guys have had this, let me know. If you had it and compared it to the original Stellan Bourbon, I'm impressed overall. I didn't know if them adding a few barrels of the older ages, uh, older age statement whiskeys in there would really make that much of a difference, but apparently it has. I and mean, maybe in a video in the future, I'll do a side-by-side -side blind of those two and see if I can still pick out the differences then. But from what I remember of drinking that a few months ago to drinking this now, this is night and day better. So congrats to you, Stellum. Really nice bottle. Really enjoyed the Stellum Bourbon Black. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. We're getting into the end of the year here. Got one more video to come before I do end of the year blinds for the winter. It's not going to have, you know, a million different bottles to choose from like a lot of the other channels do, but it's going to have the ones that I tried this year and I've got some really good bottles to go in that end of the year blind. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. It'll be the first time doing something like that here on the channel. So make sure you hit like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.